What's up, YouTube? Brutal Moodle here. Today, I wanted to go over some of uh, the ways I have been recording my videos, and it's been an evolutionary process over my time starting here up on YouTube. Uh, it's still fairly new to me, and I will still be learning and changing things as I go on, but I just kind of wanted to share with you where I'm at now compared to where I started before. So, when I first started doing YouTube videos, um, I used this Canon Vixia HF10 camera. I uh, had it on my little tripod where my webcam is now, pointing at me, and I would uh, edit the videos afterwards. Um, I realized after not too many videos, that was taking a long time because I have to take out the SD card, which isn't a huge big deal. But I put that file on my computer, uh, then sync up the this with uh, the video that I actually captured on my, my computer, and then actually edit the video and all that stuff, and... I figured, you know, at this point, I'm not I'm not a popular YouTuber, so I just want to... I would rather push out more content as opposed to sitting there editing stuff that not too many people are watching anyways. And you know what? Maybe later down the line, if I get up there and I get a little bit more noticed, I would love to go back to putting a little bit more work into editing, cutting out all the kind of boring parts of the videos. But at this point... Um, yeah, I'm just not doing that. Whereas before, I would try to kind of cut out the video. Or I was doing like the multi-camera thing where uh, you'll notice in my first few videos I've uploaded, uh, if you go back and look at them, uh, I would switch like full screen just like my face for kind of like my reaction shots. And then I would switch uh, back to the gameplay where it showed my face like up in the corner and that kind of thing. But I'm not doing that anymore just because, like I said, it takes takes a lot of time to, a lot of time to edit that stuff. And I would, like I said, I would rather be pushing out more content and maybe down the line we'll get to that point where I can uh, edit things and show close-up reaction shots and all that fun stuff. So, um, after I decided that using this was just taking too much of my goddamn time, um, <laughs> I, this, you guys are going to laugh, I decided to go the webcam route and just have a webcam that automatically uh, is recording me up at the corner and with the video in the background, so I didn't have to edit later on. The The video is just, it's stuck there. It's its already there. I couldn't edit that video and do a close-up reaction shot of my face if I wanted to. Uh, because it's not a separate video file anymore, because it's all in one part of the video. Uh, so the funny part that I was saying is, I'm using, I was using this webcam. This is an Xbox 360 webcam. This thing has horrible resolution, like 640 by... 320 I don't know the resolution it's it's something pretty low though and you could tell the, the quality isn't that crappy which in all honestly honestly in all honesty it's not too big of a deal because the video of my face in my videos is shrunken down so small that you can't really tell the resolution anyway but I mean it's not all about the resolution with cameras it's a uh, the color that it puts out the sharpness all all those little tiny things it, it just didn't look too great but like I said it wasn't the biggest deal since it was a uh, up in the corner, so small, shrunk it down anyways. Um, shrinking those pixels, you can't see as much information anyways. So anyway, uh, so late, just my latest update, what I'm recording on now is a Logitech C920, which the quality is actually pretty good. It's comparable to this, I would say. Maybe the same, maybe the better, maybe a little worse. I can't tell. I like it, though. Um, but So that's where I'm at right now with my video side of things. Uh, so for audio-wise, uh, let's see. I don't know how to... I've been using this condenser microphone. Did I show it? Oh god, I'm sorry for this horrible audio. I'll just lift it up. Here we go. Yeah. So this is an MXL condenser microphone. Condenser microphones are the way to go when you're recording, well, pretty much anything voice. I mean, you can't get away with just using like a regular wireless headset with just like the, the thing next to your mouth. That's the other thing. If you have something that's close to your mouth, that's going to give you a better quality anyway. Like you don't want to use like the webcam on the webcam itself because sorry, the webcam you don't want to use the sound on the webcam of itself because those it's far away it's not a condenser microphone and like those th two things combined just make it sound crappy but i have a condenser microphone that i've been using because i've been into like recording actual music for a while too uh so i decided hey why not use what i already have to record this shit right so um <laughs> the other thing i want to get into was my vibe so when i record vr stuff this became problematic for me because I didn't know how I was going to record uh, audio and you can see it in uh, one of my first like I said I'm constantly learning evolving my ways um, I 
a lot of my earlier video I considered failed videos, but at the same time, they're learning experiences. That's how you learn. You fail, right? So I had, uh, I think I was playing accounting, and I set up a shotgun microphone, condenser microphone, and I used the onboard microphone from this to kind of hopefully... Like, a microphone's in one corner of my room, a uh, microphone's in another corner of my room, my camera. Um, and if I combine those two audio sources, hopefully it would pick up my voice a lot better. But at the same time, no matter what I do, even though I might be closer to one microphone or the other, I'm still far away. It's not like, it's not like a, like I said, a condenser microphone where I'm sitting right in front of it, or a headset microphone where I'm sitting right in front of it. And that, that video just turned out horrible. But like I said, learning experience. So then I tried using, the Vive has an onboard microphone right there built into it. Um, I, you can see I put a little tape on there. People recommended because uh, it makes sort of like a pop filter. If you guys know what pop filters are, it's when you make like P noises. Like it like, uh, it'll clip. It'll sound crappy and crackly. So people use pop filters. So this is my really cheap pop filter, just a piece of tape. So I tried this. And that one wasn't actually too bad. Um, it was a lot better than having the two microphones set up that are far away. But at the same time, the microphone on built into the Vive isn't that high quality because it's not meant to be for like you know professional uh, voice recordings. Excuse me. So anyway, um, yeah, it just like sounded really high frequencies and like uh, yeah, it it just didn't have any of the low ends and it just sounded kind of tinny. Tinny is the word I'm looking for. Uh, it's just not good quality, so I didn't know what to do, so I figured what do I have at my disposal that I can try, because I've tried using microphones on the side of the room, I've tried using the onboard microphone on the Vive, and that didn't work, so I got this little guy, woo, which I said I wanted to use stuff that I have, but this was so cheap, it was only like 10 bucks, so this is the lavalier microphone, and it actually plugs into phones using that little guy, and I have a phone, so I decided, hey, for 10 bucks, let's try this. Let's see if this works. So, just plug this right here, and then I got, again, the microphone's right right up to my, right up to my, uh, what do you call it, my mouth. So, it's not like the microphone's far away trying to pick up all this noise. No matter where I go, uh, it's going to be right there. It's going to be good quality because it's right there. Um, and the first way I started doing it with my phone was I just downloaded an app on my phone just to simply download, or sorry, to record, uh, voice as a WAV file or an mp3 file onto my phone as a file. So I would uh, hit record on my computer, it's recording video, and I hit record on my phone and it's recording audio, and then after I make the video, um, I can go and put the file onto my computer and sync it up later with the video that I recorded. Kind of similar to how I did with uh, this guy, when I was recording video with this guy and video on my computer, I would then have to go later sync them, them up. but I I like to I like my time like probably most of you do so I I figured god damn it there has to be a better way to do this kind of I feel like I need to just get it all in one shot kind of like when I did change to my webcam I need to just record audio and video so they're already into one file so I don't have to sync them up later Oh god I'm burping so much So um I found this app it's called WO Mic uh, it's free on Android. It's a really cool app. And what what it does is it lets you record uh, to your PC as a microphone source. So, uh, wirelessly. I forgot to add that. So, what that means is um, your PC, when you install this app on your PC, it sees your phone as a microphone device that's plugged directly in it. However, when your phone's running it, uh, you could run it off Wi-Fi. So... I could be way over there on the corner of my room uh, talking into this and my PC would recognize it as a microphone that is plugged in directly into it. And that's exactly what I needed to get that uh, microphone and video all into one file. And I was like, sweet, that's awesome. Uh, the only problem I run into, and I don't know if this is just because of my router and I already have a funky router set up already, so it probably is just the router. Um, I noticed when I'm running uh, streaming WO mic from Android to my computer, uh, it kind of makes this crackling noise every once in a while. Like I sound like a robot, like it's trying to keep up because it's such low latency. I, it's probably just not capturing all the information from my phone due to my router not being that fast. 
Um, and I didn't realize this again until uh, a few videos later recording uh, because I kind of stopped watching all my videos all the way through because I just want to keep on pumping out more videos. But then I noticed the, the crackling happening more and more the little times I would watch it. And it was really annoying me because you would hear me speak and in the middle of a sentence I would uh, uh, dur, dur, turn into a robot and then you wouldn't hear the rest of my phrase or sentence or whatever I was saying and I, it would continue as normal because I didn't know that. I, I couldn't hear myself being a robot while I was recording. I didn't know until afterwards. So I'm like, well, shit, that was a really good idea with this lavalier. And I, I like the quality of this lavalier. It sounds so much better, less tinny than than the Vive microphone. So, <laughs> here we go. My, my final evolution in my uh, Vive uh, audio recording process has become this. So, WO microphone has an option to record either wirelessly or you can hook up your phone to your computer with the USB cable. Now the problem with hooking to my phone to my computer with the USB cable is I don't want I already have this giant wire coming down off my back with the Vive. I don't want to have another giant I don't want to go out and buy another 50 foot USB cable to go to my uh, computer. I mean if I was doing that I might as well just get you know a 50 foot microphone cable and connect that directly to my computer. Um, so, what's really cool, and I just thought about this last week, is the Vive, don't know if you can see this right there, that is a USB port, uh, there we go, just a regular old USB port. So I have that kind of taped down here going through the back of my headset, and that goes, oh god, I'm trying to grab this cord here, there we go, just a regular old micro USB cable. So I, I can plug this extra USB port from my Vive to my phone, and I just have my phone sit in my pocket, and then I have my phone hooked up to this lavalier mic, which is, you know, connected to me. It's a really wonky setup when I think about it, but at the same time, uh, my evolutionary process of figuring all this stuff out, uh, that, that's what it's led me to, and it's been working great for me so far. Um, I don't know if this helps anyone out there, or if this is just interesting to people who are non-recorders. And I don't even know if this is going to make sense to anyone listening out there. Hopefully it does. Um, but that is my process that I've come to these days. And I'm sure it's going to change in the future. I'm sure I'll f figure out a new way to set up my webcam, to set up my Vive microphone, to set up maybe my condenser microphone. Who knows what will change. But I just wanted to share this with all of you. Um, and I believe that concludes my video. I'll make another video down the line. Oh, before, actually, before I, before I conclude this video, I also just wanted to share this new chair I got. Because before I was just using a regular four four legged stand chair, like a uh, one you'd sit at while you're eating dinner. It wasn't a very good computer chair at all, and it was very very uncomfortable to sit in for, well, pretty much any amount of time. After five minutes, I'm just like, wow, my ass kind of hurts a little bit on this. So I finally decided to spoil my, myself a little bit. Get get a nice chair. I got the headrest going on. It's comfy. It's nice. I like it. Um. But now, that concludes my video. So thank you guys for watching this video. I know it was a little bit different. It's not a gaming video, but it has to do with the process of the gaming video. Uh, make sure you subscribe if you like this kind of content. Uh, leave a comment down below, of course. Uh, butt sex for everyone, and I will see all of you in the next video.